Kate, the Princess of Wales, played a major supporting role as she attended a major reception at Buckingham Palace. Kate has arrived at her first ever grand reception since being bestowed the title of Princess of Wales. The senior royal entered Buckingham Palace prior to the beginning of an event which counted world leaders and foreign royals among its guests. The Duchess of Cornwall and Cambridge was spotted arriving at the event in her car, wearing a black morning outfit. She appeared pensive as she looked out of the car window at crowds amassed outside Buckingham Palace. This reception presents the first occasion for Kate to meet high-profile politicians, including French President Emmanuel Macron, and fellow royals at Buckingham Palace's state apartments and picture gallery since King Charles passed on the title he had held for decades onto his firstborn. The new sovereign announced on September 9 his decision to see William become Prince of Wales. Addressing the country for the first time since the Queen's death, King Charles said, Today, I am proud to create him Prince of Wales, Tywisog Cymru. With Catherine beside him, our new Prince and Princess of Wales will, I know, continue to inspire and lead our national conversations. The Sovereign added the couple would help bring the marginal to the center ground where vital help can be given. The new king held a reception at Buckingham Palace on the eve of the Queen's funeral. The king welcomed around 500 guests to a reception at Buckingham Palace this evening. Charles, joined by Queen Consort Camilla, hosted world leaders, foreign royals and dignitaries who have traveled to Britain for the state funeral tomorrow. Other members of the royal family also attended the grand event on Sunday. Guests, dressed in black, began arriving in coaches from 5 p.m. before making their way in the grand entrance. U.S. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden pulled up in the presidential car, dubbed the Beast, in a convoy of other vehicles shortly before 6 p.m. The Bidens attended the Queen's lying in state at Westminster Hall earlier on Sunday. They stayed at the reception for around an hour. France's President Emmanuel Macron and his wife Brigitte also attended the glittering do. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern walked into the palace followed by Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Japan's Emperor Naruhito was also among guests hosted by Charles ahead of his mother's funeral. Ukraine's First Lady Olena Zelenska was at the reception after an earlier meeting at the palace with the Princess of Wales. She was pictured with Kate on Sunday afternoon. Prime Minister Liz Truss, who had an audience with Charles today, arrived at the palace at 5. At 4.45 p.m. joined by her husband Hugh O'Leary. Foreign Secretary James Cleverly was among ministers who attended. Mm -hmm. 
Members of European royal families also attended the reception at the palace. King Felipe and Queen Letizia of Spain, King Carl XVI Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden, and Queen Marguerite II of Denmark traveled in coaches. President of Ireland Michael D. Higgins arrived on a coach with the former king and queen consort of Spain, Juan Carlos, and Sofia. King Abdullah II and Queen Rania of Jordan arrived just before 5.30 p.m. in their own vehicle. They were followed by their son, Hussein. Crown Prince of Jordan. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and European Council President Harald Michel traveled on coaches with several leaders of Commonwealth nations. Guests were asked to wear lounge suits and morning dress rather than ball gowns and white tie as would usually be expected at a state event at the palace. The state reception is taking place in the picture gallery and state apartments and includes drinks and canapes.